So I busted up my nail a couple of days ago, and it is currently painted a different color than the rest of my nails. You wouldn't know it because obviously the band-aid, um, but I can't get the nail polish out without wanting to cry. It looks so innocent, and I think I just took advantage of the fact that, you know, like peeling potatoes shouldn't be a big thing. It's not like I'm using a giant butcher knife. Those things are dangerous, so uh, word of warning, <laughs> be careful. Hello everyone, I'm here today for another five first impressions for you guys and today I'm gonna be focusing just on the new launches that came out from Maybelline. I got my hands on like a bunch of their new products and I really want to put them on my face. I'm excited. If you like these types of videos, give it a big a thumbs up so I know and if you have any requests for future five first impression videos, leave them in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you guys and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I think that's everything, so without further ado, Let's get into this. So the first product I'm going to be using today is their new Master Bronze Bronze and Highlight Kit. I think at least one of them is matte, though I could be wrong. I should probably swatch these. But I like that there's a mixture of different shades here to kind of customize your bronziness on your face. And I want to apply these right now because my face is looking a little like pancake flat, you know what I'm saying? So in terms of swatching them, they're very, very soft. And it looks like all of them have some form of shimmer or glitter in them which is interesting, so nothing matte in this collection. Oh, I lost a swatching finger. I can't swatch with my Band-Aid hand. Oh, bummer. See how good this highlight is. It's nice and creamy. Oh, and it's very pretty. I like that. So far, so good. If you're looking for like a nice bronzy look, I feel like this is the place to go. Let's test this out on the face though. Whoa. <laughs> That is bronze, and it's now on my face. Lesson learned, if you're pale, you need to be careful with those darker shades. And I'm like dabbing the brush into the product, like not swirling it around or like picking up a lot of product, and it's also not dusty at all. I was just like, bam, bam, done. And like, it was like super streaky on my face, but it seems to be blending out really nicely, so that's good. They are really pretty though, like that's really nice bronziness. I feel like I did a pretty good job with that one. By the way, I'm using a big kabuki brush for this. I don't know why, but I really prefer this to do any sort of contouring or applying bronzer. It just does such a good job. This is by It Cosmetics, and it is their airbrush powder and bronzer brush. I don't know why, I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna use a little bit of a fluffier brush for the rest of my face. I'm gonna stick to like these two shades sort of in the middle here. And I'm going to adjust that on the face. I feel like this color is a little bit too dark for my skin tone, but I still think it's a really good shade. So if you have a deeper skin tone, I think that's a good color. Um, but yeah, overall, super impressed with this. Now I'm going to spend the next <laughs> 15 minutes blending this all out and making myself look somewhat kind of bronzy. All right, now let's go in with this uh, highlighty shade here. Nice champagne -y gold. How are we going to do for pigmentation? Ooh. Oh, that's nice. You guys see how highlighty that is? Please tell me that my lighting is picking this up because it is gorgeous. Nice and blendable. It's a gorgeous shade and it's actually showing up on my skin tone. It's not too dark, which um, can sometimes be an issue for me, but this color is showing up really well. I really like it. This is a nice palette. Good job, Maybelline. I approve. Don't have any new blushes from Maybelline, so now I'm just gonna apply a little bit of blush. We'll move on to the eyeshadow. I feel like I'm very far away from you guys. I need to like zoom in a little bit. Hi, how are you doing? Okay, let's do eyeshadow now. These are the new City Mini palettes. I have a bunch of them here. I think these are adorable. I think these are travel friendly and super fun. They look like some good colors in here and I've kind of heard that these swatch really well, which is pretty exciting. So I'm, I'm gonna do that myself. All right, so this is what one of the palettes looks like right here. We have a couple of matte shades in here, a couple of shimmery shades. Uh, hopefully this is not too glittery. Oh, they're buttery. I was not expecting that Maybelline. All right, continue. These are the shades right here from this particular palette and the kind of shimmery glittery ones are beautiful. The mattes are like, okay, they're not my favorite. I'm sure they'll show up better on my eyes than they do um, in swatches, but they're not as kind of pigmented as I was hoping, though the dark brown one isn't too bad. Um, but these shimmery shades are gorgeous, nice and reflective, really, really pretty. I like it. And let's do another one here. Um, this one is the Rooftop Bronzes. This is a nice collection of beautiful, shimmery, bronzy, summery colors. There's no mattes in here, so I feel like this is just a, a nice like add-on palette to other ones that you might have at home. Um, Cause I don't know, I don't think I'd wear like shimmer shades like all over my eyeballs, but I don't know, that's just me. Oh yes, Maybelline, this is it. That is 
stunning. It swatches so ridiculously well. It is smooth. I love the color selection. This is a gorgeous palette. All right, and then let's swatch this kind of a purpley one. This is Chill Brunch Neutrals, these nice uh, purpley tones. This one also to me is very similar to the, um, what is it, the Downtown Sunrise one. The matte ones are okay. The shimmer ones are much better in my opinion, so I think that's why I like this um, rooftop bronze one so much better. Um, I feel like there's too many sparkly shades in here, and I feel like the sparkle is just going to get everywhere. And then the last one, because I might as well just swatch them all, this one is Urban Jungle. It's more of these like greeny hues, something I don't feel like I'm going to be reaching for that often, like these, these shades. Um, but I want to swatch it anyway. I just feel like there's not a lot of... Um, options and variety in here. It just feels like here's the same shade slightly darker with more glitter in it and there's just not an, a lot of like punchy variety to kind of create a, a full look. Uh, it just feels like a, a little too much green for me personally and a lot of glitter. Two of these shades are just like straight up glitter and I just not a big fan of that. I think that they've really up to their game in terms of the quality of the eyeshadows. I've tried some of their other palettes and I just haven't been a huge fan of them personally. Um, but the quality of these feels different. It feels buttery. It feels expensive. So that's good. But we need to get rid of all of these glittery shades. Like, can we replace that with metallics? That would be great. All right, now, now I need to wash these off my arms before I get it all over my white shirt. It's nice and bright and vibrant and it's like picking up really easily on my brush. It's depositing well. So far so good. Really, really like this color. Okay, then I think I'm gonna take some of these bronzy shades from the um, bronze palette. What is this? Rooftop bronzes and apply it to the outer corner and outer side of the lid. Oh, so beautiful. It's not too shimmery actually. It's showing up okay on my um, crease. I always worry about putting something super glittery on the crease. I feel like that's not gonna look good, but um, this one's actually showing up well. It's this shade right here, so that's good. They're just blending out really, really smoothly on the eyes. I'm getting so much of the product picked up on the brush, but like in a good way, you know? And they're just, all these colors look so nice together. I love this. I'm gonna take this bronzy shade right here and a little pencil brush, and I'm gonna apply that along the lash line and into like an outer V. Like these are applying better than some uh, high-end shadows that I use and have used recently. Like, I'm V impressed with this right now. I'm gonna take a little bit of the gold shade here and kind of apply it right in the inner third of the lid and add a little bit of that bronze shade again to underneath the lower lash line and then we're good. Actually no, I want to add a little bit of this shade too and just use like a really thin um, liner brush here and just dot it along the lash line here. And then for the inner corner highlight, I think I will use this shade right here. Mm. It's a little too dark for me for an inner corner highlight. I feel like it'll work well for um, other skin tones, deeper skin tones, but for me, not so much. So I think I'm going to try this highlight shade actually from the Master Bronze. I actually tend to do that quite often with highlighters. I use them as inner corner highlights because I feel like they're typically a good light shade for me. A little bit under the brows here. Oh, I do need to add a little bit of mascara onto the lower lashes though. Totally forgot about that. Where's my mad lash? Oh, there it is. All right, on to product number three. And so far we've had like pretty good success. Like not every single one of these palettes is like great, but I've had success with a couple of them. Um, and now we're going on to a liner. This is the Curvitude Liner. It's a liquid eyeliner with an ultra fine line. And it is supposed to be really good for um, tightly lining along the lash line to create a fuller looking um, lash. So this is what the um, pen looks like. And according to the instructions on the back, it says to hold it like this and apply it to your eyes. That looks dangerous. So the actual tip of the liner is really interesting. It's like a little bubble and then the tip at the very end. If this works, this will be a nice um, goof-proof kind of way of applying liner because it doesn't need to be perfect and crisp because you're not really going to see that the line is there. It's just going to look like your lashes are really full and black and really dark and thick. In terms of application, it is applying quite well. Like I can get into those like little nitty gritty little grooves between all of the lashes quite easily. I do have mascara on and a fairly over the top kind of smoky eye look. So 
I mean, I don't really expect miracles here, but I do notice a difference in person. And the liner itself seems to be pretty good. I want to apply it sort of on the outer edge like I would a regular liner just to see how it applies, but it is very black. It is very easy to apply, so I like it for that purpose. There it is just applied to the um, kind of tight line area. And it didn't take a very long time to do as I'm getting kind of used to the application of it. I kind of, I'm really liking this. I feel like I'm going to be reaching for this more often. So there's the lash line. I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like the just along the lash line is super black. It's just making my eyes pop. It was really easy to apply and I am enjoying this liner. Really like this. And now on to the final two products. We have two lip products I want to test out and I wanted to test out both of them. So I'm like, you know what? We're just going to apply one. We're going to take it off and then we're going to put on the other one. It's fine. So we are going to start with the Vivid. Vivid Hot Lacquers and these are high gloss lip colors and I want to see how pigmented these are going to be. Um, and then the other one in the complete opposite direction is the um, Superstay Matte Inks and I really like the packaging on these actually, they're really, really pretty. Um, but I want to test these out, I want to see what they look like on the lips, I want to see how they wear and all that fun stuff. So we're going to start with the Vivid Lacquers and I want to swatch them on my hand first. I'm going to start with this shade which is Sassy, a bright fuchsia pink very pretty whoa that is pigmented oh my goodness and they're very soft very light Ooh, man maybe you've been killing it today and the other shade is charmer a nice everyday shade i feel like again oh my gosh i really like these they feel really nice. They don't feel sticky. They feel very hydrating. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. These feel so nice on the lips, guys. They feel, I want to say oily, but that I don't want that to be a bad thing. It feels very light, not sticky at all, just very hydrating, like a good like lip treatment. They're super pigmented too. Like. That's really nice. Just for curiosity's sake, I do want to test a couple more of these on my hand. So we have um, Obsessed, which is a deeper sort of a, I want to say a, a plum shade maybe? It has the same nice feel to it. It's a little bit on the streakier side. I feel like you're going to have to blend that out. Um, otherwise, it's going to look a little bit off on the lips, you know what I mean? And then uh, this one is Unreal, which is more of a brownie shade than the one that I tried on. Mine's more of a, a pink mauve tone, and this one is more of a brown neutral tone. Also very pretty. I feel like that will look a lot better on different skin tones than myself. This might be a little too brown for me. Um, I prefer Charmer personally. Yeah, I like the formula. I love how pigmented they are. They feel really nice on the lips. They do give a nice glossiness. It's not too over the top, but it definitely is there and it looks really good. I'm a little concerned on how these are going to wear over the course of a day. Um, I feel like these are going to require a lot of touch-ups and you're going to have to be really careful wearing them because they might smear because obviously they just feel very hydrating and lacquer-like on the lips. Um, but I mean that kind of comes with the territory. You're going to kind of have to touch up anything that's going to be high gloss like that. Um, so that's my only watch out with these, but I feel like these lighter shades here are just going to be in my purse constantly and ones that I'm going to be reaching for a lot. All right, so let's wipe these off and then go on to the matte lips. And then finally for product number five, we have the Superstay Matte Ink and it says on the website here, it's going to give you a flawless matte finish, super saturated color, 16 hour wear, and it has some sort of a unique arrow applicator, I guess, for precise application. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm stoked to be trying these out. I have a couple of the different ones here. We have some neutrals, some bright vibrant shades, and I feel like because I used a nude color for the lacquers, we're gonna go bright for the ink. But I do wanna try some of these on my hands first. Um, so I'm gonna start with this nice pale shade. This is in Dreamer, and we're gonna see what this looks like on the hand here. I see what they mean. This is a just a very pointed, applicator so it's going to make it very easy to get a nice crisp line <laughs> at least one would hope um yeah it is very very saturated ignore by the way the imprints of the uh last round of uh swatches my hands for whatever reason love swatches and don't ever want to let them go so we're just gonna we're just gonna ignore that nice and creamy even when you're applying it which is nice and uh, yeah, we'll see if it dries down, but that is a gorgeous shade. I like that. This is in the shade Lava, which I just sort of blended into the other swatch. I need to get better at my swatching game. Just clean, let's just clean that up a little bit there, Rachel. Another really pretty shade that feels like my lips, but slightly darker. I like it, it's pretty. Uh, let's try this shade. We have Creator, which is a bright, 
<laughs> bright purple. Whoa! Terrible swatching from me, but like the color is nice. It has a nice almost pinky undertone to it, which feels a little bit more wearable than like a bright stark purple. Um, I really like that shade. Um, and then we'll do Romantic, which is a very, very vibrant um, pink color. Well, that is what I'm going to be wearing on my lips today. Look at that. Oh, that shade is speaking to me. Yep, yep, that's the winner right there. All right, so that is what it looks like on the lips, and I am obsessed with this color. Hands down, gorgeous, gorgeous shade. The, I don't know what it is about the formula, but right now, it is a little bit, like, tacky. So I'm waiting for it to dry. I'll try, try and dry it down faster. Um, to see if that goes away, but right now it is feeling a little bit sticky on the lips, which is unfortunate. But the color, the saturation, the application even, I do like the applicator. I think it's really easy to apply. So I feel like of the products I tried today, I was pretty successful. Like I do like the City Minis. There were two of them I liked, which were these two, um, the Rooftop Bronze and the Downtown Sunrise. I think these are gorgeous and I really liked the application, the pigmentation, they look gorgeous. These lip lacquers are stunning and they feel really good on the lips. And I even really like this um, bronze palette. I think this is really nice. And even the, the highlight shade works for me. Yay. I feel like this one, the plums one, wasn't so much a favorite of mine. I just, I didn't think that the pigmentation was there and there were way too many glittery ones. The chill brunch neutrals, eh. And the Urban Jungle, there just wasn't enough variety there for me. It was just a lot of green, and I feel like I couldn't come up with something um, very wearable from this. Um, and then, I don't know, the matte shades in this weren't my favorite. They weren't bad, though. The, the darker color did show up quite well on my eyes. These two were like, meh, I've, I've seen better, but I really like these um, shimmery shades. They were beautiful on the lids. And then there's these super matte ink. I think they are very, very pigmented, punchy, easy to apply, but they're sticky. They're tacky so far. I'm hoping it's gonna dry down and like not be like that anymore. And if so, I'll let you guys know. And I'm gonna try dusting it, if not with some translucent powder and just see if that helps at all. Um, but yeah, that I mean, so far, I mean, this is a really successful five for suppressions. I feel like I did really well here and I'm excited about it. So if you like these types of videos, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. And if there are any products out there that you purchased that you really enjoyed, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah. Oh my goodness, guys, I went to go and wash the swatches off of my hand. I need to show you this. They're still there. My, like, you can see my hand is still wet. I washed it with soap. They're not coming off, which is exciting, but also kind of terrifying because I actually don't know how I'm going to get them off my hand. But like, oh my gosh, this stuff is going to stay on forever.